Spring ball is here for the Badgers with some new faces, some new places, but the same spring goals. To see who are the best players, and, and another advantage of spring ball is you get a lot of reps, you know, so you can really find out um, players and, and playing and playing and playing, and you got every other day, so you got time to, you know, practice, you can meet and you clean up and you can teach it, so just trying to figure out what's the best use of our talent. And uh, position changes or shuffling or moving at one side to the other, I think those are all part of spring ball so that you then know going into fall camp what's the best place for that kid and how does he help the team the most. There's plenty to pay attention to from Jim Leonard taking over as the defensive coordinator to transfer players ready to make an impact. Now a number of players are not practicing healing up but there were a couple guys back out there on the first day. Oh, it felt really good. Um, really good feeling. It was just out there. I think I was smiling the whole time. Uh, just being back, able to be back out there with the boys, uh, it's a great feeling. It felt great. It's almost just like finally. Uh, I was happy the whole time, smiling, laughing, enjoying my teammates. So, I mean, it was fun to get back out there with those guys. Oren Sitchi won't have any contact this spring, but they will get reps when they can. Meanwhile, the Badgers will take advantage of every rep this spring. I think the advantage of spring ball is you do get a chance to spread it out more, a little bit more conducive to teaching. Wisconsin has a total of 15 practices, concluding with the spring game Friday, April 21st at 6.30 p.m. Inside Camp Randall Stadium, I'm Brandon Spiegel for Wisconsin Athletics.